Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly add the Facebook pixel or the um, meta pixel as an element to your website on godaddy.com. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you wanna make sure that you're logged into your uh, GoDaddy account as an administrator. So I'm actually gonna start from the top here because I already have the website editor open as you guys can see. So um, the idea here is uh, you basically want to go to the dashboard of your website. So uh, this can be either your domain or your, your website that you have published. And if you go, want to go to edit it, the first thing you need to do is access my products. So that can be accessed by clicking on your profile icon on the top right and clicking on my products. And it will redirect you to this page right here, pulling up the list of all of the registered websites and domains under your GoDaddy account. So from here, let's pretend that I want to edit uh, this website right here. So corodynamicstech.godaddysites.com. So I'm going to click on manage, like so, and I'll be redirected to this page right here. And you'll see right away that on the right side of the screen, there are two options being edit website and publish site. So obviously we're going to edit our website, just like that. And it'll take us to this page here, which is pretty much the same as this one. So from here, uh, once you're at the website editor or the website builder, you wanna click, uh, you wanna navigate to the right side of the screen until you see the option that says settings. So there's website, theme, and settings. So when you click on settings, you'll see right away that there's an option that says Facebook meta tag or meta pixel. So this is what we're looking for. We're going to click on meta pixel. Um, just, so, just so we're clear, this is actually Facebook. And from here, it asks you, it, it'll ask you to input the pixel ID of your Facebook business or your Facebook ad campaigns. So from here, just simply put the number, hit save, and you guys are done. That's it. So yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for watching this video. And hopefully this, it helped you out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.